Hey mates, I'm Alex. I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. This is a place to learn and share about Fabric and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Today, we are diving into a new feature in Fabric that is semantic model refresh activity in Data Factory. So, mate, can you please explain why this is important for our fabric users? Yeah, of course, Alex. Let's let's do it. And uh, you know, we will focus today in this is a kind of match request, you know, feature in how you can go to data pipelines and having a refresh activity for your semantic models. How you can create that, how you can complete an end-to-end -end solution that spans the whole entire pipeline lifecycle in just kind of a few clicks. Additionally, we have the flexibility to configure advanced settings tailored for kind of enterprise scenarios. Oh, that, that sounds really interesting. And uh, quick question around is, is there any configuration needed for that? You know, let's head over to my machine and let's go to kind of the data factory workload in Fabric. Gotcha. This is the data factory workload. And what we are going to be doing is let's create a new data pipeline. So let's click on this option over here, data pipeline. Uh, I'm going to bring a little bit of our friends, Zoom IT, so I can go and zoom this option as you can see the data pipeline remember to do the any data ingestion pattern you have two options in fabric data pipeline or data flows chain 2. in this case let's create a new data pipeline power mates refresh activity and in the meanwhile you know this is a new pipeline that we are creating to connect and create a pipeline activity card in our canvas and then getting the semantic model refresh option up and running. So what you need to do is just in this Canva option here, go to activities and then you're gonna see this little icon in the top right of my screen. That is the semantic model refresh activity. So you're gonna be dropping this activity to your canvas and it's pretty easy to connect the dots. I'm gonna switch to this new tab where I have some of those settings. Minimal settings, get up the connection, easy to get the connection. It's, this is just, if I edit on this one, it's just connecting to your Power BI uh, tenant. You can use your organizational account, sign in using your account, and then you need to, only set up the workspace. I can click and see all my workspace in my tenant and then switch in to say, hey, I need to refresh this explicit semantic uh, model. That is the kind of basic configuration in our new activity. And that is the very first step to create our refresh activity. That, that's pretty clear, but more about that, uh, what about those details uh, and additional options in your refresh activity, like the advances and all? Yeah, let's head over here to my machine and let's get those options here. Let's start with the general settings here with the advanced option. And there's a couple of options. First of all, the timeout. The timeout is the duration that you can specify to kind of allow some time for this operation to complete successfully. If this operation exceeds that duration, a timeout error is gonna get up and running. You know, the common practice around this topic, you know, when you operationalize these kind of data pipelines in data factories to kind of use the activity and retry at least one or two times, you know, kind of any value greater than zero uh, because data factory is kind of, is a cloud, based service so you can set how many retry you want to enable and manage that option additionally you can set the duration between each retry attempt so you can define if you want 10 seconds 15 seconds or 30 seconds between each of the retries and then the other option in settings here let's take a look in advanced here couple of options first of all 
wait on completion. If you have a whole pipeline that determines whether your activity should wait for the refresh operation to be complete before going to the next steps. So this is the default setting and is only recommended if you want the pipeline manager to continually support your semantic model refresh for completion. Uh, the commit mode, that is the other topic, is going to determine whether to commit objects in batches or only when complete. So in this case, at present, the semantic model refresh support only transactional commit mode and full refresh type. If you need incremental refresh, you need to go to the Power BI service to set that up, you know? That's at least for now. And then the other option that is the max power list is control the maximum number of threads that run processing commands in parallel. So by default, this timing is in 10 threads. The retry count, again, you can specify how many times the refresh option or the refresh operation should retry before considering it a failure. So the default value is zero, but mean that is no retries. And this value should be kind of adjust based on our tolerance for transition errors. That is pretty much the process around all of this and how to leverage this amazing new feature. Of course, you can anytime go to home options here, save your pipeline, and then hit on the run option here to see the outcomes and actually refresh your data model or semantic model. Okay, PowerMate, that's all for today's video. Hope you like the video and find it interesting. So leave some comment and like the video. Yeah, stay tuned for more in-depth insights, tutorial, and of course, exciting news here in our channel. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential on Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. Yeah.